Okay, so in this section of the tutorial, we are going to be bringing in the footage as well as the 3D camera tracking from PF Track into After Effects and then compositing the hologram effect onto the footage. So we have here is the original footage and then we're going to go ahead and bring in the shot that we had previously motion tracked. You'll just have to find yours wherever you saved it on your computer. Hit enter. So we have that brought in now. We can see it's brought in as a composition um, with the null objects that represent different trackers in the scene. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on this to open it up. You can see here we have some basic elements. All of the trackers that we tagged for export are here. We have a camera that moves in 3D space uh, just as the one that we tracked in real life does. So we can see pretty nice movement there. The, the shot ends right around here so what I'm going to do is bring our out point to right about there and then just kind of zoom in here. First thing we need to change is the frame rate. We can see that our composition up here is 24 frames per second where our original footage was shot at 23.976. So in order to do that with our composition selected, we're going to go composition, composition settings, and change this from 24 to 23.976, and hit enter. All right, now what we're going to do is drag in our footage. Bring that right in there, and what we need to do is line it up. So we're going to go ahead and scroll th forward here right up until he starts to mess with the iPad. So right about here is where the shot starts. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Bring our playhead to the front and just slowly move until okay, it looks like it starts right about there. We can go ahead and zoom in to be even more certain. Yeah, right there is our first frame. And if we kind of scroll through it here, we can see that the trackers are lining up with the shot. Very nice. And it ends right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring in um, our hologram effect. So in order to do this, we go Layer, New, Solid. And uh, this is basically just for the purposes of showing you how we did it. I'm not going to go great into detail, but we toggle the switch here. We're going to make this solid a 3D object. So we can see here it's in 3D space, moves along the Z axis as well as the X and Y. We're going to take the null object that we want to, to have it take the 3D space of, which is this one right here, and hit P. And we're going to copy that position onto our newly made solid. So we can see that it's pretty big. We can go ahead and scale it down by hitting S and bringing this down right around there. So this is taking up the 3D space of that null object. We're going to move it up a little bit and over to the side. And what we're going to do now is hit Command Shift C and it's going to make a new composition. We're going to leave all the attributes in the iPad effect final cut and we're just going to call this our screen. And now we can literally take anything and add it to this right here. So we're just going to take the shot we already have here of Zach. So he's literally going to be looking at a screen of himself um, as the hologram. So now if we go back to our iPad effect we can see that Zach's there. We're going to toggle this over and um, we're going to change the composite mode to add. Very nice. And um, one other thing we can do here is go, we're going to type in warp. And um, we can see here we have a bad TV warp effect. We can add that to our shot there. And it kind of adds to the hologram effect. For the video that we did, I got rid of the transform option because that kind of made it slide back and forth um, and that wasn't really helpful for the motion tracking so if we render through this here 
Okay, so that looks pretty good, sticking nicely. Um, we're going to go through now the beginning of the hologram when it kind of pops up. So what we did here was we hit Command Y to make a new solid, and we're going to make this solid blue. Hit OK. We're also going to make this solid a 3D object. We have this position copied, paste it to that. We're going to make the scale, bring it down, and then bring it up here. We know where the table starts because we have this null object. So we know right now that the bottom here is where the table would be if the object were actually there. We're going to change the scale a little bit so that it can reach higher. And now bring the bottom up again to that null object. And now slide it over this way so that it matches with the location of the iPad. Now what we're going to do is hit command. We're going to hit command shift C and also make this a pre-composition, leave all attributes, and then we're going to go double click on this, and we're going to hit G for mask, and we're just going to add this, we're going to select this and hit G for mask, and add in a nice triangle type cone shape for the hologram um, projection. So we have that there, and let's go back to our original thing, and that looks pretty good. Um, what we can do now is slide it back a little bit, and then we are going to rotate it. Hit the W button, and we're just going to rotate it slightly down like that. And now what we can do is even add another mask here. So. We're just going to go right around like that. And you, we can see that the shot really doesn't line up right now. So we're going to take our scale, bring it down even more. Right about there. Slide it over. And we're going to match it up with this guy right here. So now that we can tell what's going on, we can go back here and uh, fix this. And let's take a look. Pretty good. We can scale it up a little bit more. That's right, right about there. And bring this off to the side so that it matches up with our scene. Now what we're going to do is hit T, bring down our opacity. Also going to add the warp effect to our new layer and take off the transform. And we're going to feather our edges. So with our layer selected, we're going to hit M and we're going to feather it off a little bit. All right, and we're going to go ahead and copy this again for the bottom. So hit Command C, Command V, and we're going to rotate it a little bit more so that it fits with the bottom. Go ahead and hit V. Oh, not that. We're going to bring this further down. There we go. And then we're going to line up these edges with the bottom of the frame. And there you have it. That is the hologram effect. Obviously, all these effects can be tweaked with. Um, the screen for our other video, we tinted it blue. So if you just hit tint, you can add that to the screen and 
just make it a nice blue very easy to do literally an infinite amount of different effects that you can add to make this hologram effect more to your liking but yeah that is the effect this has been VFX bro with a tutorial on motion 3d motion tracking and compositing